my name is Rowena. Um, I'm the Labour Cooperative candidate for Southampton Itchin Parliament next year, less than a year to go now. Um, I got into cooperatives and politics because of my school playground. And um, every day we all used to come in to this crazy comprehensive school in inner city London. And the one thing that would unite us, where we spoke 55 languages, all different classes, all different races, was this hatred of the school canteen. And the school canteen every day sold chips, beans and cheese. And our teachers told us that we couldn't change it because it was run by a private multinational company called Serco and they had a monopoly contract for years into the future with no chance of changing it. So we said, that's not good enough. And we just, start, just decided to start a civil disobedience campaign where all the kids went home, baked pizzas, salads, pastas, quiches, brought it all in in tinfoil in their bags, set up shop next to the canteen and sold as much as you could eat for a pound next door, totally illegally. And the local press came down and hundreds of kids flocked to our alternative canteen rather than the original one. And after two weeks of keeping up this boycott and local press coverage, suddenly the whole canteen changed. And this bunch of teenagers had taken on a multinational company and won. And that was a really important lesson for me early on that collective action can really change things, um, even in the face of massive power. And that lesson really stuck with me. And it wasn't until I got to uni that I started reading about the cooperative traditions and the Labour Party pre-1945. But it seemed to me that those things matched up with my experience and why I was interested in politics. And I joined the cooperative party straight after that. In Southampton, the key priorities are jobs and wages, no doubt. Uh, every Wednesday morning, I volunteer at a food bank around the corner from where I live and the numbers have doubled under this government. And you see people who have never asked for help before, parents, or young kids, who literally just can't afford to feed their kids any other way. And um, half the people you see are in some form of work. It's just that that work is zero hour contract jobs, uh, really unstable, poverty pay. And when you've got the cost of living going up, people cannot afford to uh, look after themselves. And uh, we have to provide an alternative. Southampton is a great port city and it has a history of shipbuilding and manufacturing that we should be really proud of. But a lot of that is fading and we have to be sure that what replaces that is not uh, just dead-end service jobs that don't care about people and don't provide enough for people to support themselves. But we organised in Southampton uh, a massive campaign to spread awareness about the dangers of payday loan companies and to provide alternatives by working with Solar Credit Union and also providing debt and financial advice to people who are passing by on the street. And, you know, for those people that we touched who took a leaflet saying, actually, it's really important I give this to my brother or my daughter or my cousin, um, you know, I feel we really made a difference there and I hope we can continue to do so. Mutual should never just be an excuse to just stop spending money and to uh, privatise our outsource. Like mutuals done well will have proper accountability with workers and with customers um, and, and that is the model that I really support. Like too often in the past we've had centralised private power in the form of the privatised rail companies for example or we've had centralised state power in the form of nationalisation that also didn't give a proper voice to workers and to consumers and the reason I support co-ops is they provide that voice and I would love to see a, a people's railway for Britain and for Southampton one that meant that people could afford it and trust it um, and that would really help economic growth in our area.